Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. She's back! As you can tell by the title, today's YouTube video is a get ready with me chit chat, playlist, little smoke sesh, just a little bit of everything in one. I really want to start leaning more into just making videos and not worrying about them needing to be perfect or needing to be a certain something. Like why not just do a little hangout session? That's literally what it's all about and how it's supposed to go. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm just gonna do my everyday makeup and it's not really gonna be like tutorial formatted, but if y'all want an updated one, let me know. I also do have a few on TikTok. Talk. One thing I've learned, and I'm not a professional at makeup, is how important it is to prep your skin before you put makeup on it. Doing your whole skincare routine. I just got out of the shower not too long ago. My hair is still kind of wet from that. Moisture mask from Summer Fridays, and then I'm going to use a facial oil, and then I'm going to use a primer. The more my face is hydrated, the longer my makeup lasts, and the better my makeup looks and blends. It makes all of the difference, I promise. So I'm getting ready right now for a flight to Texas. I'm sure this is probably gonna be annoying for me to say because I say it so often. This could be someone's first time watching my videos, so I'm gonna say it again. I'm born and raised in Dallas, Texas. I've lived in LA for almost three years and LA has just been a pretty toxic environment for me. This is a house labs foundation in light, medium, warm, but I've learned a lot of lessons while being here and although it's not the right place for me to be right now, it definitely has been for the last three years despite me going through some troubles and having a kind of rough time. I needed to go through those things to get to where I'm at now. That's the mindset that I've adopted throughout experiences and situations I've overcome and different versions of myself that I've lived while living in LA. I'm gonna do my eyelashes before I go any further into my makeup routine, but these are Kiss So Wispy lashes. I stack them, so I'm gonna use two different pairs of eyelashes. I'll talk more on YouTube soon about all of the reasonings. I'm really excited to just start a new chapter of my life. Long story short, I'll talk about it more in future videos. I'm moving back to Texas. Right now as I'm filming this, it's October 7th, but I'm moving in February slash March, just however it works out. My lease ends in March, but I'm planning on moving in February, just depending on how everything works out. Even though it sounds like I have a few months ahead, I really don't have a lot of time ahead. Starting tomorrow, October 8th, I'm going to Texas for a week, which I'm also gonna film a week in my life. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm only coming back because I have a few events. And then once I come back, I'm staying back in LA for a week and then going back for like three to four weeks to Texas. So super busy month this month. It always is, especially just leading into the holidays, but then I have Thanksgiving, then there's Christmas. And so I really am going to be spending a lot of time in Texas before moving. So it's gonna be really fun getting to have the opportunity to make content in Texas and in LA before making that big move. This is a weed pen, not a nicotine vape for smoking because I'm about to go to Texas and it's not legal there. <laughs> Speaking of cannabis, this. I want to give a huge thank you to Everything420 for sponsoring today's YouTube video. Y'all, they sent me a bunch of goodies. They sent me a heart bong. If you watched my last video, which was a Smoke With Me playlist video, they sent me an AR bong. An AR bong. Like, what? I also got a strawberry pipe, many joints, <laughs> and a weed pen, and so many other little goodies. I love Everything420 because they're fast, they're discreet. They're basically the Dollar Tree for stoners. As of right now, this one's my favorite just because it's easy on the go, especially right before I work out or watch a movie. I can use this one a lot more freely than I can use the other forms like the joints and the bongs and the pipes. I do use the heart bong every day. I just love bongs in general, but those get me a lot higher than any other form of flower. I don't know why, so I only hit a bong like once or twice throughout the day. I also love how on brand they are. Everything 420 has a whole collection of products that are $4.20. They're constantly having discounts and finding ways to help you get money off the products that you're buying. They're also super responsive and their customer service team is super sweet. They give you a free gift to check out and they're constantly adding new products every week. They have a super tight knit stoner community and just offer a comfortable space to order these products. I just wanna thank y'all again, Everything420, for sponsoring today's video. Seriously, love them. And now we're about to smoke. <laughs> I have a bunch of tutorial videos, and if y'all would like one on YouTube, let me know for my eyelashes, just because it's a lot more to explain. But I'd be so down to make another tutorial, and I'll also link in the description box the tutorial that I already have up. Let's have a little jam session. Let's listen to some music. Let's get the vibes going. I ordered Wingstop, too. This is my Saturday night right before a flight. And I live in enough, Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this one. She got me tired of this. I'm killing me bees and so what? She leaning on me, I'm a crush. She creaming on me, I'm a crush. Give me this shit and I'm sad. Big man, mama, flex up. 
This is on repeat. And the balance is in my account now. Okay, she got a perk and a perk. I got a twerk and a turk. Okay, she fine. She sexy, she cool. She from East Atlanta, so she like to get loose. Ride me like your rover. Attention is a flattery, it's just annoying me. Dirt that they do on my name, turn a soil, and I grow up by it. I've been losing friends and finding peace. I'm so emotionally unavailable that ugh, this is so bad. No, I'm like, what are the odds that like someone is watching this that has a crush on me? I don't know. I'm very, like, I can't do it. <laughs> my ass is definitely high. Okay. Finished my eyelashes. I just took a mini little break to eat my wing stop. I have a mukbang account on TikTok, which I will also link. <laughs> I just like to do a little bit of everything. It's fun. Like it keeps things interesting. After I finish my makeup and finish filming this video, I need to finish packing. I'm filming this video right now before the flight so that I have something to edit on the plane. I don't know if I already said that because I'm also gonna film a week of my life in Texas. I feel like I might've already said all this stuff to y'all. <laughs> I posted a little Q and A on my Instagram a few weeks ago. So let's answer some of those right now. I feel like this is like perfect time to answer them. So let's answer some questions. What is your go-to movie or TV show? My go-to TV show is New Girl. That's my comfort show. So sad they took it off of Netflix. Um, also The Office. I really like rom-coms too. I like very feel-good, like comedies, romance, things that make me feel really happy. Like I'm not a big fan of the opposite, whether it be a movie, whether it be what I'm reading or what I'm viewing on social media. I try to stay away for the most part. I mean, sometimes you can't really control it, but from things that I know are going to disrupt my peace. I am moving into a new chapter of my life and I'm really excited. A lot of it just comes from me being very eager to show y'all more of my home life. I just feel like I I didn't show a good example of that whenever I was living in Texas. I also was a complete different person. And so I feel like the missing puzzle piece to my life right now is reconnecting with my roots and spending more time with family. I feel like my priorities were so messed up when I first moved to LA. Uh, not messed up, like they weren't bad, but now a lot of it's focused on long-term things seeing my family and spending time with them while i can and just a complete different person than i was whenever i moved out here and this has always been my dream place to live i'm not saying that i might not live here at some point in my life again but all i know is that right now i need time to experience those things and opportunities that i had in texas that i don't have in la as this new version of myself and step into this new chapter and really just embrace it and be open to all of the changes and improvements and quality time with people that um, make me a lot of just who i am based on having lived in texas my whole entire life it's gonna be awesome uh in texas food and there's so many pros i won't sit here and talk about it because i have talked about it so much on my other social media maybe that's me shutting myself down but it is all happening around february march and i'm going to be in texas so much for the upcoming holidays so we will get around to talking to it for sure my favorite tattoo honestly i don't have a favorite tattoo all of my tattoos i really love like i couldn't just choose one that i like i don't regret any of them like i feel very good in my skin for the first time in a really long time and honestly, it feels really, really good. I've always been at war with myself, picked myself apart, and I've been really, really hard on myself. I've let people tell me who I am and determine what my worth is and tell me what it is, and then I'd believe it. It's not how life's supposed to be. You are your own person. You are an individual. You are allowed to work on yourself. You're allowed to be yourself. You're allowed to take time to yourself. None of that's selfish. You're allowed to cherish yourself and your body and treat it the way that it deserves to be treated and view it the way that it deserves to be viewed because these are our bodies only ours like we each get our own and comes the body comes the mind as well and your environment makes up who you are so in here has to be just as good as what's in here and what you project outwardly too i've been really just leaning into that when i did 75 hard honestly like i honestly don't feel like i talked about it enough like after it happened i feel like i really skipped over it but I've learned so many valuable life lessons from doing the 75 hard challenge. And if you don't know what that is, literally please look it up. Um, or literally the absolute best thing that I could have ever done for myself, completely changed my perspective. I feel like I went from being a girl to a woman after doing the challenge, especially mentally. Uh, that's the best way that I can describe it. I never knew that I could love myself so much. I never knew that I could discipline myself so much. And I gave myself a fair shot in actually doing it. And I, 
And like I really took a chance on myself and I proved to myself like, no, I do love myself. I do care about myself. I just didn't know that these were the things that would help me reach those goals. But now that I'm doing these things, I don't ever want to go back. I want to continue living on myself. I want to continue sharing that love with others and encouraging others to do so as well because it is now that I've experienced it, what life is all about. The importance of life. And leading with love just makes the biggest difference because when you act from love from within and you embody love, that will shine through in your environment too. That will shine through in how you make others feel. The better you treat yourself, the better you can treat other people and the better you treat other people is the more love that you're magnifying towards other areas of your life as well. I feel like the core to everything is just choosing love. You have to choose love. You have to choose happiness. You have to choose discipline. Like these things don't come naturally and a lot of people especially on my tiktok videos which i i mean i get it i've read so many self-help books to get myself to not only know that you have to choose those things but to actually start implementing them and applying them to my life so i completely understand and that's why i keep answering and it doesn't bother me having that answer to ask frequently because someone asking that question just means that it's their starting point and like the big goals for us all to win i don't want to just document these things that are going on in my life and opportunities that I'm getting just for people to see what I'm doing. I want everyone to be able to do these things. I want everyone to have a fair shot at themselves. That's what my content is. That's what my purpose is on social media. And I really, really just enjoy y'all as people. And I feel like y'all have just really taken a chance on me and like saw me through and allowed me a space to make changes in my life and to be the person that I wanna be and actively work towards that, actively achieve that. Keep in mind, our best days look differently. So there were days that I've had bad days. There will be days that I continue to have bad days in there and that will always be a thing. But through all phases of my life, good and bad, one thing I have been shown is grace. Oof. And it started with doing that to myself which leads into a bigger conversation of how you treat yourself, how others are going to treat you, and that's why it's important to act from within, act with love, do all these things, choose discipline, have a relationship with yourself, because you really do teach other people. And I used to hear people say that, I'm like, ooh, yeah, that's good, like, you're so right. And then I would still continue to treat myself horribly, even in little ways, like when I'm tired, denying my body rest and staying up five hours past the time that I told myself I was gonna go to bed which is just a little example. If you don't love yourself, then you're not even gonna care to do these things, but they're so important in, in how we overall act, our overall mood, how we think, how we feel, the capacity to which we can do those things. I don't remember what I was talking about, but I just know that at some point in that, I was cooking. <laughs> Y'all, I used to love Socratic seminars in high school. I used to get so excited. I would get anxious a little bit, like it would take me a little bit to warm up, but I always knew that I would deliver. And when the time came that I had the courage to speak up, I was spitting. <laughs> Taking a break. Cut. Right, I feel like my under eye area is too bright. I feel like that's what I don't like about it and the freckles are too dark. We will fix that. I got sent wine. <laughs> <sighs> Cheers. Also, it's super special. I found this company called Avalyn. Hopefully I said that right, but that's my cousin's name who passed away last year in April. So super special to me um, without them even knowing. And yeah. cheers to Avalyn. I never go shy. In case anyone was wondering, ever since I started taking the gym seriously, I really do check the protein on everything. <laughs> I just looked at the f back of a wine bottle, like, what? <clears throat> I get so tipsy off of wine so quick. Like one glass is good for me. I feel like with wine, I reach this like uh, point and then I'm just sitting there and I can like keep drinking wine and it won't go up with alcohol and shots and mixed drinks and stuff. Obviously, the more that I go, the more drunk I'm getting. Does anyone else feel like that? Like, I feel like wine really just like stays very balanced the whole time. Once I've reached that certain point, I'm staying there. And I'm steady. I think, think that I the idea I'm, out of your mind. I'm gonna straighten my hair. I'm just gonna lightly go over my hair, but I'll probably straighten it one more time before I leave. I don't really need to like do my hair right now, especially because I'm gonna be on a plane and this is already cute, I think, by itself. Just like messy, wavy. <laughs> I'm
sleep in the bar. Shout out to Dallas, my bitch is a star. I might be seeing my extensions right now, but I'm going to twist it like this. Put my head back. Put it like right on top of my head. And then flip my hair up. And then we have a little half up, half down. Super quick and easy, my go-to. I know that I'm gonna be running around my apartment for the next few hours, just packing, getting it clean, vlogging, um, and all of that. So I'm not worried about doing that now. That's something that I'm gonna do like right before I go out of the, I get out of the door. But this is our final little look. Before people ask, and I'm so sorry to say this, I get so many questions about it, that's why I'm saying it right now, but I have no idea where I got this sweater. Well, I do know where I got it. I thrifted it back in Texas a few years ago. Um, but the tag just doesn't say anything that's relevant. And I've literally looked it up on live trying to find it for y'all. Um, but it doesn't seem that any stores sell this anymore. Also, these pants are from Zara. And I'm just gonna, I'm, this is literally what I'm gonna wear to the airport. Um, but this is really big and like kind of like towel y like. So I might wear this instead, which is basically the same type of thing, except I can wear a crop top type of shirt under this because it's not off the shoulder and then take the sweatshirt off if I get too hot. Same idea though, just very comfy clothes. It is apparently chilly in Dallas right now for the next few days until Wednesday, which is the fair, which I'm going to and I'm excited for. But yeah, that's basically all for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hopefully this wasn't too scattered of a video. I did, I feel like anytime I smoke, I'm like all over the place. I also could be overthinking it right now. I also do that when I smoke. And lastly, thank you so much, everything for 20 for sponsoring today's video. I will see you all my next video. I'm off to Texas in just a few hours. So I am gonna be filming for the whole week. And yeah, we were pretty busy, fun October. And I'm really excited. I'm, lots of content, lots of newness and a breath of fresh air. I'm so excited to do it with y'all. <laughs> I love y'all and I will see y'all in my next video.